How about a little history lesson today as we honor some martyrs who are not yet canonized, but who gave everything as they preached the gospel? Hello, I'm Father James Kavicki, and a lady shared with me a fascinating story that I'd never heard. Think for a moment about Virginia and the English colony that was established there in 1607. Remember? It was Jamestown, and it was 13 years before the Pilgrims landed in Massachusetts. But these English weren't the first Europeans to arrive in Virginia. More than 30 years before, a group of Jesuits, priests, brothers, and seminarians had arrived in Chesapeake Bay, which was called the Bay of the Mother of God. They began the hard work of setting up a mission for the native people there, building a chapel and teaching them about the love of God revealed in Jesus Christ. Here's what the petition for their canonization says about them. Their purposes were entirely and solely evangelical, to bring the word of God to those who had not heard the gospel. Toward this end, they deliberately chose not to bring troops or guards, as they tended to be violent and scandalous to the native peoples. This was only the third such mission unaccompanied by soldiers in the New World. That's from the 2002 petition from the Diocese of Richmond, Virginia, that opened up the cause for their canonization. Unfortunately, with no protection and as a result of miscommunication and misunderstanding, the Jesuits were killed on February 4th and February 9th in the year 1571. It's interesting that this is a page of history that I never read growing up. There are so many brave stories of Catholics that never seem to make it into the history books. You and I may never make it into the history books either, but let's make sure that we keep alive the brave and holy tradition of the Catholic Church in the U.S.